Mike, what you up to today? Today we're going to go down to the garden and we're going to plant some bush beans. I have two different varieties of bush beans that I'm going to put in the garden this year. One variety I did plant last year. It was a good variety, but I also want to try another variety of bush bean. Last year I grew the contender bush bean, which was really good. But this year I'm going to plant also the green crop bush bean. I'm going to plant them uh, both in the same row. I'm planning to plant uh, four rows of the bush beans, two of each. So let's go down to the garden and take a look. It's time to plant some beans. But first, before we plant the beans, I want to show you how I make my furrows to plant the beans. First of all, I, I just have a rake. You can get this anywhere, any box store. And I had some plastic uh, PVC pipe left over from different projects and I just cut it to length that I needed to simply place on the teeth of the garden rake. And I used duct tape, of course, to secure it on there. So the PVC, you just want to cut it to the length past your, your teeth here that you need to plant your seeds at. Mine need to be probably about an inch. So it's about an inch beyond the little teeth here and I duct taped the PVC on there. And I have it spaced exactly how I want. I want to put four uh, rows in here. So the last row, I'll just simply have to tilt the rake like this and use the last one, but I can do three in one shot. So all I do is I set the rake where I want it at the beginning, kind of push down to the depth that it needs to be, and then I just simply pull Kind of watch my bed, make sure I stay in it. And I have three furrows that are evenly spaced the entire length of this bed. like so. And then to make that fourth one, we'll start up here at the top. I'll just tilt the rake like this to get that last tooth or last piece of PVC and I'll just eyeball it the distance that looks like the others are separated. And I'll just drag it on down. And here's my fourth furrow and this does not take long, it's nice. All you gotta do is set your rake in the soil and walk. Now you got four nice furrows to plant whatever you want, but in this case, we're planting beans. So now let's plant some beans. I have a scrap piece of PVC half inch and at the end, I have a funnel and I just simply duct taped it on the end. Just cut this to whatever length you need because everybody's at a different height. So just cut it comfortably for you. What I'm gonna plant first are the green crop bush beans from Haas. And the beans inside are pink. I thought that was kind of cool. So, Put some in my hand. I'm gonna set these beans down and show you how I do this. What I do is I set the PVC in, in the furrow at an angle. You don't want to do it straight up because you'll, you'll fill the end with dirt and it'll plug up and your seeds won't drop. So you kind of just let the pipe fall in the furrow and you just drag it within the furrow and just drop a seed about every six inches. So I'll start right here, drop a seed, and then I go about six inches, drop another one, go another six inches, and drop them. That's how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop all these seeds in the furrow, and when I'm done, I'll come back and I'll show you how it all looks. Okay, I'm done planting the 
seeds, or I should say placing the seeds in the furrows. Probably the seeds that you'll be able to see are the pink ones. But I have four rows of beans planted. So now what I need to do is just cover these seeds up and tamp them in. Okay, now we're going to cover the beans and we'll tamp them in. This is just a matter of just lightly raking over the top. Okay, now that we have them covered up with the soil, we're going to go ahead and tamp them in with the rake. Now that we have the beans planted, I want to show you what I'm going to do to protect the beans from first the squirrels, which initially come in and dig up the beans and eat them all, and then second the rabbits. When the beans start to come up, they like to eat that nice young vegetation and they'll decimate your garden. So I need to protect the garden from first the squirrels, second the rabbits. So I'm going to show you some of the the things that I use to protect my garden. First of all, it's the metal hoops. Here's one of the hoops, and I'm probably gonna put like five of these up over the row. I've made those with my hoop bender. Whoops, there we go. And second, how I secure them to the ground, I have two of these anchors. They're like corkscrews. I got these at Lowe's. I picked these up at Lowe's and I have a carabiner on one end. So I'll screw these into the ground at the end of the rows. And then I use this webbing, black webbing, make a loop on one end, tie it. And I'll slip this through the carabiner to anchor that side. And then I have an anchor strap at the other end and I'll hook it to the other anchor in the ground and we'll just simply ratchet it tight. I'll show you this process as we do it, but I'm just showing you a few of the things I use to uh, cover the garden. Here I've already placed my anchors for my hoops. Here's one anchor at the top of the garden, and then we'll walk down to the other end, and I'll show you the other anchor that was screwed into the ground is right there. It's center of the left peg and the right peg, just like at the other side. And now let's set up the hoops. Here I have the hoops set up over the green beans. I used six metal hoops. Now we just need to attach the strap over the top of the hoops. 
I'll show you how I do that now. Okay, now all we do is we attach our black strap. I made a knot, I made a loop. All you do is you put it in the carabiner like that. And then, okay, now we just simply go over the top of the hoop. We wrap over once in the center and we pull all of our strap. Then we go into the next one. And we continue to do this the whole way down. Here's the ridge line over the top of the hoops. It's got the hoops rock solid. They don't move at all. I mean, it is sturdy. It's quite sturdy. Secured it down here at this end. Ratchet strapped it, ratcheted it uh, up tight so it doesn't move. And the hoops are secure with the ridge line over the top. Next thing to do is just cut some uh, bird netting to go along the bottom to keep the squirrels out and the rabbits. Well, the beans are covered with bird netting now. This job is complete. As you can see, I have a hope that you can see the uh, bird netting on the hoops. I only covered on this left side about two feet up. That way I can still reach in there and pick beans, but it still keeps the rabbits and the squirrels out. So that's the day for planting beans and putting hoops over them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a couple days.